So we're going to try to find the height using angles. Now, I am under the suspicion that 2.11 is actually radians and not degrees, but we'll do it both ways. And either way you go, you're not going to be using a cosine, but a sine. Because if you remember way back to geometry, this little acronym, which means sine, is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent is opposite over adjacent. So if we're looking for the height, um, and this is our angle, the opposite is the height, and the hypotenuse is 1. So the thing that we really want to set up is the sine of theta, which is 2.11 equals h over 1. So on our calculator, in the radians mode, not degrees, I'm going to type in the sine of 2.11. And so I get that the height is 0 0.858, whatever the units are. OK, now, if that was degrees, I would do the exact same thing. The situation is the same. And we would get that the sine of theta, which is 2.11, equals the height over 1. And the height over 1 is just the height. I probably should have said that up here. The height over 1 here is just the height. So anyway, now if I put my calculator into degrees, and I do this calculation, I type in the sine of 2.11, I get that the height equals 0 0.03. Six, eight, whatever the units are. Now it seems to me that if the height is one unit, if the hypotenuse is one unit, the height is a lot more likely to be 0.85 units rather than 0 0.0368 units. So I'm pretty sure that um, you need to put your calculator in radians mode and use this angle as 2.11 radians. And then this is your height, and we got it using a sine, not a cosine.